Welcome to Sharice's Family History Explorer Tip. I'm really excited about showing how to attach multiple people in a source and how to add people from a source that are not already in Family Search. So in Family Search, this is a tip, a hint that came up uh, for a marriage record. Now, the first important thing is to make sure you look at the record and make sure that it's the right people. Too many people assume that if it's a hint, it's a source for that family. And sometimes you'll see, you know, things like England and the United States and they had children born back and forth and that usually isn't the case. So here, we're looking at Benjamin A. Russo and Becky Yosha. And the name is different, but I know that this is a variation of her name. Now, I see that Benjamin has better information here, Benjamin A. Russo. So I'm going to actually open this in a new tab by clicking on it, then right click and open in a new tab. When it does that, then I can go to Benjamin and right now, while I'm, before I attach while I'm remembering, I'm going to put in Benjamin A. And I'm going to put that it was off of his marriage record. And I'm going to save that information. And then I'm going to go back to my source linker. You can also open it in a new uh, window if you have multiple windows you're using. I'm going to add his birth information because he had no birth information. I'm going to attach that. Then I'm going to attach his wife's information and I'm going to attach their marriage record, add their marriage information. If it already has marriage information over here that's the same, I wouldn't add it because that would cause a duplicate of the marriage date, but there isn't. So we're going to go ahead and add that information and then we're going to attach that. Now his parents are not in family search, so I'm going to go ahead and add. Now you want to make it pretty as you go. I'm going to go ahead and put in his last name. Um, there's no other information, so we're going to create the skeleton of him. And we're going to create that person. We're going to go ahead and attach the source to this person. Then we're going to go ahead and add the mother. Now her birth name was not Russo, so we're going to delete that out. We don't know what her maiden name is, so we're going to leave it blank. And then we're going to create this new person. And after it adds, we're going to go ahead and attach the source. Now, how do I go about adding or attaching her parents because they're not listed on this screen? The way we go about doing that is we click on the change over here. We click on Becky. And then it will allow us to compare her parents. Now, we're going to compare this and we're going to attach, but now it shows Bertha as her mother and Bertha is not her mother. So we're going to change to Gabriel so that we can add a different wife to him. And the way we're going to do about go about that is we're going to click on this all spouses and we're going to click on none of the above and we're going to add Clara and it looks like This is the last name, and so we're going to go ahead and create the new source. Now, if another thing that's really important to look at, and remind me, we're going to go back and fix this as to put her with the right mother. But if it has an image up here, it would say record and image. If it has an image, you always want to go look at the image so that you don't miss any pertinent information that could be on the image. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to go to Becky and we're going to go to her person page. And then we're going to look at her parents. We're going to go to Gabriel. And we're going to actually move Becky to, we're going to actually pick up this number of Clara, who is listed as her mother. We're going to edit this. And we're going to remove or replace her mother. 
We're going to say we've reviewed it. We're going to replace the person by ID number. Now we're going to go in, ahead and put in the ID number of her new mother. We're going to add that match. We're going to replace it. And voila, now she's listed in the right family. Now that seemed like a lot, but if you take it just a little bit at a time and you take it in bite size and you're careful, you can make better all of the, your information. Hope you have fun.